Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use the validation rule and validation text properties in tandem on a selected field. Setting the validation rule property allows you to use the expression builder if needed to create a specific condition that will only allow data entry that meets the specified condition into the field. For example, you could specify that field entries in a birth date field cannot be a future date. So to do that, you may either type the function to evaluate directly into the validation rule box, or you may click the little ellipses mark at the right end and use the expression builder. So in this case, if you'd like to, you can click the little plus next to functions, or actually give it a double click, click on built-in functions, and here you'll see the different types of functions available. We can click on date time to reduce it to the date time types of functions. We want to make sure that whatever is entered into this field is less than right now. So we could choose the less than symbol from the operators listed and then the now function. Giving it a double click in the third box inserts it as the expression. So we are saying the expression is the value entered into the birth date has to be less than right now, meaning sometime in the past. Click OK and you'll see it inputs that as the validation rule. Then you click into the validation text and you type in the error message that you want access to display when an entry doesn't meet the specified criteria in the validation text. Once you've got that created, you just click Save. And if you have existing data, it can check the existing data against the rule to make sure that all of your data is actually valid. You can click Yes to have it check. If there were any errors, it would inform you in a new box. Then let's switch to the datasheet view by clicking the leftmost button on the database toolbar, which always shows the opposite view of the one you're currently in. Let's try and change someone's birth date to a future date, like 2007. When we try and leave the field, there's the validation text. And until we put in a date sometime in the past, it won't let us enter the birth date. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.